Do you have them started up? Yep. Come on, give us a commentary. Right, quick tutorial on basic caping out for the taxidermist. It's a bore as you can see, but the same principles apply with a stake. So, pretty much take half the animal, just to be safe. This brisket skin is very important. Because on a mannequin, it's actually kind of like this. I'll show a lot of this on the top of the leg. So, very important. When you mount the skin on a mannequin, you, you actually roll quite a bit of it over it, don't you, Mac? Yeah. Gives you a lot more room to work with. Yeah, and this, like, the mannequin only got to about here, but, like, um, the more you can pull the skin forward, the better it is. And especially on a boar, you can get the main to stand better. Okay. Queen. And we take a good bit of this leg with us as well. incision right at the back of the leg. Don't ruin the roast. Yeah, I'm a taxidermist, not a butcher. So you just go straight up? Straight up. Cool. Don't cut in here too much. Okay. Queen, get out. So obviously guys out in the bush aren't going to have the aid of um, having a tractor to hoist their, their catch up on. Um, so what do they really need to pay attention to when they've got the animal on the ground? It's just going to be a bit harder for them. Just have to move them around a lot more and gravity will help. Especially if these boars are such a big heavy shield. Yep. That will that just help you work it down. Is it easy to cut, the, um, cut them too short or anything when, you, when you're dealing with them on the ground? So is, is more better than less? Yep, exactly. Can't have too much. And um, just, you kind of take half the animal, especially on the deer. If you just take, even from the pizzle forward, taxidermists won't use much of it, but it's um, better to have too much. Okay, cool. And, um, someone's dogs is been on this fucking front leg. Must have been a bloody Irishman's ones I reckon. Right, it's recording again. I'll leave all the good meat on the animal, Mick. That's all good bacon there. Sorry. 
queen, get out of it. I hope you're going to skin the rest of it for me too. Any 12 volt? Anything to help going behind the shield? No, just get in there with your knife. <laughs> Smart ass. As you can see, it's pretty thick here. Okay. I'm taking lots of meat on you. <laughs> Don't there. do that, that's my bacon. And take your time. The slower you go, the less holes you put in it. And the more holes means what? A bigger bill. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> He's fat. Well, that's good. The wild pig won't be this fat. Oh, he is wild, isn't he? For you, he was. Where did we catch him? <laughs> like my bitch had a mean find on this fella. What, all of three meters? So the old way used to be that you'd split them up the backbone. Why don't you do that so much nowadays? Well, you don't need to. It's, it's not a big mannequin for a pig. It's just like it's sleeves over. Okay. There's no antlers or anything put in the way. But you still sleep. You can still sleep skin a deer. So Taxidermist can do what he wants with it then if he wants to melt it as a sleeve. He doesn't have any. Um, it just died. Right. Getting all dirt on your, your fat one. Oh, that panic. Maybe I should be letting you do this. No, no, you've done a good job there, mate. <laughs> this is the big advantage of having a hanging. You have gravity now to help. Yep. If we get lucky this afternoon, Mick might even show you a stag. 
how to dress out a stag. Right here you go. Now you were saying something? Um, what are we talking about? Oh, a stag. <laughs> uh, it's the same principles. You just need a good lead brisket. You can sleeve skin the stag. And just these cuts, very sound. Okay. And we won't go into the head skin. Nah, it's much better if you just drop it off to the taxidermist, really, isn't it? Unless you're very competent at head skinning. Sometimes you need to hurry, but I'm not going into that. I'll show you that if you bring me something to mount. I dropped one off to you not long back. So you've obviously stuck that one in the throat. Yeah. It's not a big issue. Okay. It can be stitched. Yep. On the balder pigs it'll always show a tiny bit. Yep. Well, well it's not the sticking, that's the problem. It's when you, you make a big push to take the throat out. Right. That can be quite hard to cover up. Actually, as much neck as you want on it. Okay. Taxidermis. You know that. And then you can have brawn as well. Pop. There you go. Right, chasse the skin. Sweet. Done. Right, so if they're not. Uh, if they're going to get it to you fresh, they just put it in a bag straight to you. Yeah. If they if they have to freeze it, what do they do? Wrap it up in a couple of bags, get it as airtight as you can. Yep. Then again, if it's just a few days, it doesn't really matter, just, just a single plastic bag. Yep. But if it's going to be in the freezer long term, well wrapped. Yep. Airtight. This can last for years. Okay, and salt does nothing for pig skins? So okay. So all that shield has to come off before you salt it, so. What do you That's tricky. Yeah, that's it. Good Excellent. Job. Cool.